Uh, boys have been training well. Uh, obviously, you know, it gives a little bit of time to rest and recover. We've had a heavy schedule, as have a lot of teams over different periods of the year, and, and we have as well. So, look, a lot of time for recovery, but also good, good training, positive training, and really focusing on our next match, which is which is going to be a tough one. Um, look again. We, uh, we we had a lot of uh, good moments in the game, but really, you know, the last ten days is not about looking back. We've got to look forward now. We got we got some big matches coming up, and and you know the old cliche becomes very important. We're taking one one game at a time, and and we've got to really focus on Brisbane. They're a good opponent. We've had a good run of form, um, and even in a game where they were dominated against Melbourne City, they showed a good level of resilience. So we're coming up against a good opponent, but, but you know, I know, again, if we play at our best, that, that we can certainly, you know, be successful on the night. Just strange on the training team twice in a matter of a couple of weeks. Um, can you still take positives from the last game against them, maybe despite a scoreline in the end of the game? Yeah, look, I don't, you know, I don't tend to look at scorelines again, even though they're the most important aspect of the game, there's no doubt about that. But, you know, more the performances are always the things that we look at and how we can improve. And, you know, every week's just just about getting better and improving and seeing what we can what we can get out of each moment at training to, to make ourselves more effective and efficient in, in the next game. And that's what we've done at training. The boys have worked extremely hard last week and, and now we've got to put the finishing touches on it before we fly up to Brisbane. Yeah. Um, some interesting results over the weekend, the latter, you know, I guess getting tired and tired. How much <coughs> Uh, look, you, you can't affect other other results and other matches. They're always interesting watching. But you know, I said a month ago, it's it, the ladder will get more congested, and, and you know, reflecting back, I was pretty accurate. Um, you know, it's such a close competition. Um, you know, Newcastle easily easily could have pinched the winner against Sydney FC on the weekend, and and not many people would have predicted that. But but the competition is so tight, regardless of whether you're Melbourne City or Newcastle, Melbourne Victory or anyone in between. Anyone can win any game. And it's whoever turns up on the day and takes them takes the, you know the crucial moments in the match. It's been an unbelievable competition this year. It's it's probably falls a neutral the most exciting A League in years in terms of level of closeness. You know the level of excitement within matches. The players have really performed. I think the players across the board deserve a lot of credit uh, from every club. They've had to sacrifice a lot this year and more and more than any other year, you know, whether it's living away from home, whether it's excessive travel, whether it's, you know, the small turnarounds in between matches. It's just never had never had to have been done before um, in the A-League. So, you know, I think there's a there's a lot of clubs and a lot of players that deserve a lot of credit for, for the... For the, for the show that gets put on, you know, it's been an amazing level of entertainment and, you know, again, I, I just think everyone involved in this year's competition, coaches and staff, deserves deserves a lot of credit for that. Yeah, just finally outside Marco, everyone available for Wednesday. Yeah.